this question I get often about who's mentored me and what programs have I personally been involved with since my passion is really mentorship and, I, and I've been running a lot of mentorship programs here at Duquesne and in other professional um, organizations. So I've, I've thought about this answer a lot, like how did I get to be where I am today and who really guided me and who were my mentors and so I can answer this appropriately. And initially I said, I hate to say it, but I didn't have any mentors. Like I had to find my way on my own and that sounds pretty pathetic. So I said, that can't be the answer. Uh, so then I really went back and I thought about it again and I thought about it in this way, like what are the things I'm really proud about and that I've accomplished and you know, keeping it to a short list. And so one of them is of course being a CPA. I'm very proud of that and obviously did that right out of college and have been active in the profession, I've maintained that. So how did I become a CPA and who helped guide me that? That would be a mentor, even though it wasn't like an official program or somebody assigned to me. And when I reflect on that, I said, well, how did that happen? Well, certainly um, professors in, at the university, you know, encouraged me. So they were informal mentors. And then um, I was working a part-time job in a hospital and the CFO was a CPA. And she knew that I was an accounting major and that I would be studying for the exam and she actually paid for my exam fees. And I was, as a, you know, a college student with no money, I was, uh, to this day, I still remember that. And that then gave me that extra effort to, uh, I better pass because she paid the entrance fee and I can't be failing this important test. Um, so as I, when I continue to think about some of the other things that I, I consider an accomplishment, um, I find these informal mentors along the way. So my position here at Duquesne, I'm not a PhD, but I've been here for 18 years and how did I get that opportunity? Um, I got that opportunity because a department chair back in 1995 allowed me to teach part-time even though I didn't really have teaching experiences and gave me that opportunity. And, and then once I came, you know, gave me teaching tips and provided me the support and the inspiration to continue on. And so I would say I've had informal mentors um, along the way. And so when I reflect on that, as much as I think a, in, a formal mentorship program is probably a little bit better because there's structure and holds people accountable and you can document outcomes, I think everybody has a mentor or many mentors uh, throughout their life um, to get to where they are today.